traveler friends and welcome back to my channel in this video i want to take you guys on a very very popular summer destination we just arrived in saint tropez in the south of france if you guys have never been here if you want to know where you can eat where you can party what happens in saint tropez and why does everyone come here continue watching this video and it will help you for sure for your next trip if you're planning to come around here. We have five days in Saint Tropez, so we're gonna do a lot of places and I'm gonna try and show you guys really everything that there is to see. I used to come to Saint Tropez a lot when I was young, maybe since I am 17 years old, every single year we used to all be here with our friends, family, like we used to love it. And then I moved to New York and it's been maybe four years that I haven't been back and I'm so excited to see what changed because there's so many new places that opened and I just, I'm curious to know what's different and if I'm still gonna love it as much as I did before. So if you guys have any question about this place, so let me know in the comments down below. The hotel was originally a private residence built as a romantic gesture for Indian royalty Princess Banu Pandey from soldier Jean-Francois Allard. It has only 12 rooms and you have the impression you are in your private residence in Saint-Tropez. In Saint Tropez, last night we went to Caviar Caspia and it was so so beautiful. The food is delicious. I mean, if you like caviar, if you're into that kind of vibe, it's very beautiful. It's in the port. It wasn't very, very full, it's a very, very chilled vibe. And for lunch yesterday, we went to Jardin Tropezien. So basically, the hotel that we're staying in, uh, Pandé Palais, is part of Les RL. It's a big group that has another hotel, Chateau de la Messardière, and as well, this beach. So if you are staying in Chateau de la Messardière or Pandé Palais, you can use their um, tanning beds at Jardin Tropezien for free. If not, you can still go over there, enjoy your lunch, uh, chill by the the beach it is so beautiful and so peaceful this is the first time in my life I'm going to do Saint-Tropez um, a little bit different because before it used to be all about partying just party 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 like crazy and now it's the first time I'm coming with my boyfriend and with any boyfriend and I just I want to discover some other sides of this uh, place because it's not all about just partying in the past, I used to just party for lunch, go take a nap, wake up, go for dinner, party again. Now we're going back to uh, Jardin Tropezien to just chill at the beach and then we're going to continue with Casa Amor. So I have a very Tulumi vibe outfit.
back to the hotel i absolutely loved casa amor it is such a different vibe than any other beach club in centrope this is the view from our room and now we're going for dinner as you can see you can drive on the little streets of Saint-Tropez. They're very, very, very tight, so you must definitely take care with your car, but I find it so charming how you can drive on these little streets. Now we are approaching the port of Saint-Tropez. As you can see, full of boats, full of people, little restaurants. And now we arrived at Kinugawa, a new Japanese restaurant that just opened in the middle of the vineyards. On the way to all the beach clubs, you will find this new restaurant. It is so, so beautiful. The setup is just incredible. Outdoors, really, really, really nice. The food was also great. So overall, really a place to try out. The ambiance is very chilled. So if you're looking for a very peaceful dinner, it ends quite early. So it's really just dinner time and then you can continue for a drink somewhere else. Let me show you our room. It's quite small compared to what we usually stay in, but last minute bookings, but the view. I mean, let's focus on the view. Then you have the bathroom over here. Well, that's it. The Pande Hotel is located right in the middle of the city center. So when you get out of the hotel, you're going to be right in the middle of the stores. Oh, the Dior Cafe that everyone is obsessed about. And you can find all the stores that you could be thinking about in Saint-Tropez. I love how they're located in these super traditional houses. Look at their mess insane and also the fact that they have Saint-Tropez specific collections this is the Chanel store but the line was 30 minutes long so I did not wait but it's crazy it's so beautiful inside definitely have to check it out we left Pandey Palais to move to our new hotel and they gave us La Doré so cute we are now back on the tiny streets to go to our next beach club so let's go in order to come to the beach clubs, you definitely need a car. Here you can either leave it to the valet parking or you can park it yourself. Taxis are a little bit hard to find and it's going to take some time, so make sure to prepare your transportation before coming to Saint-Tropez. After parking your car, you can either walk to the beach clubs or you have the club cards that take you over there.
I somehow always find myself speaking to you guys while I'm in the car, but I guess this is the only down moment that I have. Yesterday, we had a whole party day going on, as you saw. We went to Verde, to the beach club. We then went to this Greek restaurant where we broke all the plates. Uh, we then uh, tried to go to opera, but it just wasn't that good. And then we went to Gaio, so it was a full party day. Today, we're going for a more chilled day at the beach. GG's. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far and I hope you're gonna like all these places and they're gonna inspire you also to go. We changed hotels so I'm gonna show you the new hotel as well. It's crazy you have to really really book in advance when you know that you're coming because otherwise you're gonna have to do like us change hotels as there was really no no availability when we tried booking two weeks ago it was so hard for us to find a hotel. Anyway this one is very very different it's more central pay vibes, it's very, very peaceful, it's very nice, but, well, keep on watching. Follow me on the little streets of Saint-Tropez to our new hotel, Hotel de la Ponche. It is so, 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 so charming. Now a five-star hotel. In the past, it was a fisherman's bar. It is so charming because it is located right next to the port, tiny, tiny fisherman port of Saint-Tropez. If you walk by it, you wouldn't even say it's a hotel. Check it out. The staff of the hotel was super, super sweet, very nice, helpful. The guests of the hotel, as I saw, were of a younger crowd, maybe mid-30s until like 40s. A very cool vibe. Five-star hotel, luxurious, but very saint typical, laid-back, cool kind of vibe. I really loved it. This was the bar, now let me show you the rooms. The hotel is super traditional, I mean, look at the doors of the entrances of the rooms. So we have the room Pierre Grimbault, 15. I mean, the room, it's a very, very big room. Oh no, they close everything, it's like night. I wanna show you guys the view as well. We have the bedroom over here. Bathroom. Hi. <laughs> A little toilet area, not interesting. Then, a little, I mean, big living room area and another bathroom shower. Looks nice. And the view that I was telling you about, Exactly, so saint -Tropez. And you turn, and you have the sea. We're gonna go take a sunset bath. The hotel also offers the option of this little super cute tuk-tuk that takes you around from the hotel to the restaurants or whatever it is that you need to go inside the city center. Like this, you don't have to walk and you have a cool ride. <laughs> the hotel also offers parking and valet service. So you don't have to worry about where your car will be parked in all this time. We are in the little hotel uh, Look at taking us for dinner in Cipriani. We just rolled up in front of Cipriani with our little hotel car. I loved it. I think the location of this Cipriani is the most beautiful one I've seen anywhere around the world where I've been. Okay, 
other than Casa Cipriani in New York, but this one is right in the city center. It feels like you are in a garden. It is small, not too many tables, very, very charming, and the food, of course, Cipriani deliciousness. After our romantic dinner at Cipriani, we came to L'Opera, a dinner place that turns into this crazy party place. To be honest, it is more a place where people just order and order and order bottles non-stop the whole night. Every maybe 10 minutes, they stop the music for a new bottle show. I don't know how I feel about this, but this is the vibe of the place. Plus, you have all these dancers. It's a fun place. And if you want to see how people just spend their money buying bottles and bottles non-stop, well, this is definitely a place where you're going to see that. Make sure to book a table if you want to go, though, because it is a very popular restaurant and you cannot get in. It's a huge queue outside in front of it. So if you do want to come here, make sure you plan it in advance. Next stop, we were going to go to Les Caves du Roi the nightclub of Saint-Tropez. I remember being here 10 years ago. Look at the amount of people that are outside. We obviously cut the whole queue because we came prepared and we've been here for many years, but look at the amount of people. I stayed maybe 10 minutes and I left. It was too much for me, I couldn't. We just finished the night. I ended my night without shoes. It was his shoes and he ended his night shoeless. So a little tip about Saint-Tropez, high heels if you have to walk, not ideal. So take some shoes with you <laughs> so you don't have to end up walking in your boyfriend's shoes or shoeless. <laughs> At night, the hotel is super, super hidden. You wouldn't even say that this is our hotel. So you were telling me who was staying here? George Brassens, Gainsbourg. Yeah. Uh, They're Jan all Derkin, staying at this Jan hotel. Derkin. Yeah, of reporting once again from the car this is my main talking space now we were supposed to leave today but we decided to extend and guess what our hotel didn't have any more rooms available so we had to change hotels again but that's very good for you guys because now you're gonna have another one that you can see so a video with three different hotels that's quite cool yesterday we had a very peaceful date night dinner in Cipriani. Then we went to the party place L'Opera. Then we tried going in cab, but wow, packed. The amount of people is just insane. And today on our last day, we're gonna go to Lulu's for lunch and then we'll see.
Let me show you the room of the new hotel. It's different. You enter, you have the bathroom. For here you have the toilet. You have a super sweet bathtub. We're all packed up because we're leaving. It was just for one night. You have the bed, a little seating area. But the most impressive is the view. You are in the middle of a garden and right in front you have the sea with all the beaches. It is spectacular. You have the pool of the hotel over there. It is really such a magical, romantic place. We are back in the car. I know you probably are already used to this uh, car vlogging by now. We stayed at Villa Marie for the last night because as I said, we extended and there was nothing available and we wanted to try this beautiful hotel. Um, it is a very, very private hotel, so it depends on the kind of vibe you're going for. This is really a place where you go to relax in Saint-Tropez and not the kind of party vibe that we went for. It has a beautiful pool that you can relax at. It's a very, 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 very nice and peaceful hotel. It's not in the city center. You get to see the sea and everything. It's very, very nice. I, I enjoyed it, but it depends on the vibe that you're going for this holiday. If I would have to do a... A rating of the hotels? I don't know, it would be hard. Which ones which ones did you like? Pandé and Marie. You liked Pandé and Villa Marie? Yeah. Pandé first? I don't know. Honestly, it depends on the vibe you're going for. Pandé is super central, it's a little bit more luxurious. You have the pool, you have the included uh, sunbeds, which I really really love. Then the Hotel de la Ponche is very very tropezienne it's uh, authentic it's cute you have the beach just there I, I love the vibes and then Villa Marie is just simply relax family holiday very beautiful but not really a party vibe place I mean last night we had we came back from the beach and all we wanted in the room was a burger or like a croque monsieur or like club sandwich or something for room service you know like after party food this is what you want to eat and well they only had some spaghetti with seafood like very sophisticated kind of meals even for room service now we're driving back to Geneva so if you guys have any questions about Saint-Tropez about this vlog about anything that we did if you need any advice let me know in the comments down below I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did you know what you have to do thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys again for watching and for being here with me on this beautiful community have a good day and an amazing rest of your summer actually i'm curious let me know where you guys are going this summer what are your destinations for the summer holidays bye guys